Hello, it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and this is my 36th, 7th book that I've been reading for the 2015 reading challenge. I will put a link down below in the description box to explain what the challenge is about but basically it's to read 52 books over the year with each book coming from a different category. And the book that I've been reading this time comes from the category of a book that was turned into or based on a television programme. So I have been reading The Demon Headmaster by Gillian Cross. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book. Moving in with the Hunter family is the start of a new life for Dinah, but her foster brothers don't want her there and school is just plain weird. There's something strange about her new headmaster, but she can't work it out. He seems to have some kind of power over the kids. Even Dinah finds herself talking like a robot and doing things she doesn't mean to. She must find out what's going on, even if it means risking getting into trouble. Big trouble. So I picked this book up at a sale that we had on in the library. And I was so excited to find this because the television program that was on in the either late 80s, early 90s, terrified me. Oh my goodness, if you were a child then, you will have watched it and you would have been so frightened. And if you weren't frightened, what is wrong with you? It's basically what it says on the tin. The headmaster of this school is unbelievably peculiar. So Dinah is a foster child and she has been living in, in a foster care home and she eventually gets to move in with the Hunter family and they already have two sons, Harvey and Lloyd, and Harvey and Lloyd go to the same school that Dinah will be going to and when they first meet her they don't really like her, she's a girl, she, they don't really understand what, what she'll be like. They think that she'll just want to turn the house into butterflies and flowers. And they're also a bit worried about when she starts school because there's something not quite right there. And when they arrive at school, they have to line up, be very quiet, not allowed to play in the playground. And there are certain rules that everybody has to follow. So when Dinah arrives... She has to go and see the headmaster and she finds him a bit strange and they're talking and he tells her that she's getting very sleepy and that she's feeling tired. And then after a while she suddenly wakes up and she can't remember what's gone on. And the only people that aren't affected by the headmaster are Lloyd and Harvey and a few of their friends. The rest of the school has been hypnotised by this headmaster who has them all in the assembly hall and he takes off his glasses and he peers at them and sends out hypnotic rays. Now when this programme was on the television I was so scared of being hypnotised whenever the demon headmaster looked straight down the camera lens and at me through the television. It was pretty scary and if you can find anything online or find some way that you can watch it, okay the special effects aren't particularly brilliant because it's an 80s, 90s programme, but as a child I was pretty scared and this book just brought all those lovely memories back of children's television when I was younger and this story, I didn't realise actually that this story is just the first book in a lot in a series of other demon headmaster books but in this particular one there is a children's television program where they have a quiz and the headmaster of the winning school gets a chance to have one minute on camera completely alone talking to the nation and the demon headmaster wants his school to win this quiz so that he will get one full minute on screen to take off his glasses and hypnotise everybody. I won't say what happens after that, but it is, it's a children's book. It's a good children's book. It's funny, it's a little bit frightening, and if you do remember the television programme, you'll kind of associate the two and, and remember those frightening monotone voices of the robotic students that have all been hypnotised into saying the same thing. But it is really good and it only took me 
a couple of hours to read and you know how slow I read but I really really enjoyed it and I am going to look out for the other books in the series because I like being transported back into my childhood it was a lovely time and although this is very very frightening it does take me back to a time that I, I really enjoyed so certainly worth a read even though it was only a couple of hours worth of reading but I really really enjoyed it but it still does scare me a little bit so if you'd like to hear any of my other book reviews then please subscribe to my channel I put new uh, videos out every time I've read a book I also occasionally do writing advice shameless self-promotion and just generally talk about books and bookish type things really so if you're interested in reading and or writing then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.